opening soon, follows the true story of a restaurateur's vision from concept to opening night. As a financial planner, I gave people advice for five years to save up their RSPs, take out catch out loans and pay down their mortgage. And uh, I've turned around and done the exact opposite. I've sold my RSPs, I've remortgaged my house and I've invested in myself. The creativity is something that I do for free because I enjoy it and that's what makes me work the 12 to 14 hour days as opposed to the seven, eight hour days. If you want to get people to work for you, you have to reward them appropriately. It's, it's just all management and uh, a lot of elbow grease. Rolf and I have a very unique arrangement. I think that it's, uh, I won't say it's unheard of, but it's definitely different. His compensation is a factor of salary, it's a factor of his food costs, it's a factor of his labor costs, and it's a factor of our catering. I'm just a cook, I'm a facilitator, I'm a tool for the food to come to people in the freshest, most delicately handled way. I love cooking with good food. And it's very easy to make good food taste good because it's there already. That's all I do, I just enhance stuff. There's a lot of stress, it's a, big, it's a big risk. I'm coming on to the freshest, brightest, newest street in the city of Winnipeg with a brand new concept, and I wanna, I wanna be successful. A lot of entrepreneurs have a hard time giving up control. I guess the foundation, the basis of this restaurant is a lot of my personal preferences, but I know enough not to just go on that. booth, a large booth to handle 8, 10, 12 people where they can get very special treatment. It's kind of, the idea is to be in the loop. We've made arrangements with a local stair builder, uh, Spirals by Ron, to fabricate uh, a custom, yeah, metal staircase. It's going to come up and around and enter into the second floor up in this space. Go upstairs? Yeah, let's right go. So there's a... Uh, a 65 inch projection TV in it that's going to be mounted on an angle here. So we decided to go with that dark that's brown grand. hardwood mm -hmm. with the wide board like you suggested. Uh, took us a little bit over budget but I thought it was necessary for the type of richness yeah. and that then we bring up the whole for in here. Formal dining space. This is where I uh, worked up until I resigned on the third floor, which is Scotiabank's vice president's office as a financial planner. We've been very successful in attracting dollars from multi-levels of government. And uh, I'm putting my trust in the city and other people's desire to want to have something new in this city and putting myself on the corner first, rolling the dice and seeing what happens. We'd uh, love the opportunity for you to stop by. It's a good opportunity for us to highlight Waterfront Drive in the Exchange District yeah. and all the work you've done down there, so. That's good, suck up to the mayor, Mike, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. We've, uh, we've had a year to work on the budget and, and put things together. It's taken us 12 months to get the stage that we are right now. 
Uh, it took $90,000 in expenses before we even had anything up. Uh, we still have to order our glass for our bar top, our back of our bar, which is very important. We should take care of that tomorrow. Okay. Millwork, I'm happy. I, okay. I'm confident we'll get all that in time. A couple of items that concern me the most, probably the sprinkler, the sprinkler system, the installation of that, it's slowing us down. We okay. need to get all over that. So we'll take care of that tomorrow. Uh, I think that we uh, have to take a realistic look at our February 1 date. Uh, I think we're going to have to push it till the 10th of February. The way that things are going in terms of not only the trades, but more importantly, the deliver of our furniture and fixtures. This is the uh, CN Union Station. This is basically a hub for all the uh, passenger rail traffic through Winnipeg, and uh, it also happens to be the home of uh, the freshest herb supplier in the city. Uh, and we're going to go check it out. Hey, Gina. How are you? So this is the lemon basil and uh, I'll be using this primarily as uh, a rub for fish and uh, also to finish off some of, uh, some of the seafood pastas on our menu and seafood appetizers because you have the nice fresh rich flavor of basil and uh, with that a touch of lemon in it, which is always good with seafood and fish. Could you harvest for me? Maybe uh, a pound of each of the sweet basil, lemon basil, uh, chocolate basil, thyme and sage. Cinnamon? And the cinnamon basil. Yeah, not too much of that. That's an experimental thing. And okay. I, do you think I could have some of this Absolutely. to play with? Absolutely. That's kind of what makes magical wonderful, is yeah. that uh, every season is so dramatically different. Um, but also, we should flex with, with the seasons. Okay. If, if, our, if the seasons are dra dramatically different, then our menu should be dramatically okay. different from season to season. Because that was a trend more. that was kind of coming up in the, in the industry, in my experience. Right. I really like the way that we've taken advantage of some of the regional ingredients. Right. We've got the bison on there, the pickerel, the white fish. We've got the Agassiz wild rice. Uh, those are all positive things and I'm very happy about that. If we're a contemporary regional cuisine and we start with a fresh PEI muscle, I think it that... It kind of defeats the purpose yeah. of the regional cuisine. So yeah. it's not, sure. it's just a, a matter of reorganizing it. Sure. Uh, and you know this this part will be fairly straight, uh, so just pull behind, yeah, and then come up about like that. Yeah. And for me, it just says the loop. It says yep. you know you're in the loop. That's I think that's for me. You know, an idea is right when it when everything comes together. I guess the task was to come up with a, an idea in a couple of days that could meet a pretty unusual deadline, uh, two weeks from from this point. Yeah. Oh, wicked, man. That's awesome. That's a very good shot. There's our sign. Hi, Rob. Long time no see. <laughs> uh, doing this new restaurant project. We're opening up very soon, and uh, and oh. I just wonder maybe you could help me with some of the uh, products. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be there. You know what, I, I'd like to maybe make some uh, fresh chili paste as well for that night. Uh, I, 
I'll take that big one. I'll take the big one? Yeah. It's heavy. But I'm going to make some fresh oh, chili paste as well. <laughs> With the chili paste, I'd like to also maybe use some uh, some raw ram. Raw ram. Or, or that shadow benny, if you have any. Yes, uh... we have shadow benny here. Nice. They uh, smell like Very cilantro. fragrant. Crispy. Beautiful. We deal a lot with lake fish. We do a lot of the white fish for smoking. So this is the white fish here that I'll be using. So it's great in, in uh, light cream sauces, and you can uh, you can highlight the flavor with uh, like a Chardonnay wine or a Zinfandel wine, which is also I, what I need lobster for. Is I need to uh, use primarily uh, tail meat, but of course I use the meat and claws and everything, and uh, do a Chinese style uh, dumpling. The gas work's done. They're gonna be delivering the main cooking line. The walk-in cooler's gone in. We've got the hot water tanks in. We've got the 12-foot canopy in. The dishwasher's been delivered. I was worried. We were expecting it to be delivered last Tuesday or Wednesday. is located in the newly revitalized Exchange District in downtown Winnipeg, Canada. Winnipeg is the capital of the province of Manitoba. Hours of operation are Monday to Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. and Thursday to Sunday from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. The Loop serves a combination of local and international cuisines incorporating Manitoban ingredients like bison, whitefish, and juniper berries. Appetizers cost between $10 and $25. Main dishes are $27 to $43, and desserts are $8. The signature dish is the crispy lobster dumplings. It consists of deep fried pockets stuffed with ginger, coriander, and lobster, served in a chili cream sauce enhanced with a touch of sambuca. The price is $13. All these wells and everything, they're, you know, they have to be filled. Because if they paint this with a metallic automotive finish, it's not gonna, this is what it will show. Hi, Keith, it's Ron. Yeah. Hey, uh, that cooler is not cool enough. It thinks that it's 3 a.m. So I just reset the clock properly and it should work. We flip the lights around yeah. like this and then it burnt the ceiling. We got a lot of elbow grease ourselves to do over the next 24 hours to get this place Looks in the like shape. Looks like you got about 68 hours of work to do here. <laughs> that Mike and I have spent uh, a lot of time designing and making sure that we have exactly the taste that he wanted. Unreal.
I can't remember when that Mario cleaning said he was going to be here. Did you make a deal with him? Yeah, 500 bucks. He told me that there's, he doesn't have the time to do it. He's not going to do it. it it's, Mike, it's Mike Millard from The Loop, the restaurant you were at yesterday. Uh, I just wanted to confirm what our arrangement was. I'm supposed to be here right now. I should go look. Awesome. I can wash these, there's no yep. problem. This looks terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cam's got one of those steam things, isn't he? A steam cleaner? Like a steam, uh, steam iron. That's crazy. No ventilation. So I really need to start some hot food preparation. I can't turn anything on. I might have to get a caterer. Have you been up to the roof? No, I'm about to go up though. I think you should right now. All right. Let's see how long it stays on for. Lobster dumpling. Well, I can't take all this attention. I made it 10 feet out there. Gone. <laughs> Curry chili bison with fresh berries. Great. We need more. It's a great space. Thank you. Thank you. Is it, is it, and, and the martinis are good, and it's a fun party. Thank you very much. So this is it, eh? Yeah! Wow. Are you enjoying it out there? It's incredible. It's hot. It's right on. Wonderful. Yeah.
Find more at finedliving.com. Real information for real people.